It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm having Doritos for breakfast. Fuck it. I'm gonna have a Pepsi Max with it. Breakfast of champions. Nacho cheese. I'm not gonna bore you with all this intro bullshit. I'm gonna enjoy my Doritos. We're going straight to the thrift shop. We're going straight there, the one that we went to about three weeks ago. I wanna check it out again. I've got this feeling. I've got a good feeling. Oh man. Mm. I've got this fucking good feeling. I'm hyped. I'm fucking hyped today. I'm hyped. It's fucking, it's, it's 10 past eight in the morning. I'm gonna get to the fucking thrift store right as it opens. I'm hyped. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'm hyped up for this thrift today, baby. I'm fucking hyped. I've got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. Doritos in the morning. Pepsi Max in the morning. I think it's gonna be one of those KFC, McDonald's, and Hungry Jack's days. And even some chicken treat. Some chicken treat. Fuck it. Let's even get Pizza Hut. Let's fucking do a smorgasbord of fast food after we do this thrift. Let's do it right along with me, baby. Woo! Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. I had to calm myself down a little bit there. I was fucking a little bit high by it. I'm a little bit hypo this morning. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm feeling good. So we're going to the one that we went to about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, whatever the fuck it was. Got a good feeling. I had a good fucking thrift there. I've got a good feeling. We're going to do this all over again there. Let's have a look. Might be the same old footage, but fuck. Who knows? Let's have some fun. Let's do this. Well, we have a fucking bonus for you. The salvos is open. The salvos on the way to this... Uh, Good Sammy's that we went to a few weeks ago is open, so we are going to smash this one. Uh, I think they've just reopened. Anyway, I'm lucky enough to go past. I feel like fucking, I, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped today. I've got a good feeling. I, I'm going to do a Godzilla. I'm going, I'm going crazy like Godzilla. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we are. Salvo is finally open. They actually told me it opened... Uh, today the day that i went in so i grabbed my big basket and oh my god how disappointing this was very disappointing i'm not going to show you too much footage but look how empty this store is this store is so empty and they only opened only just opened so this was actually looks like they buffed the floors actually the floors never used to look like that so there we go the best i could find in here was a hannah montana fucking wii game and i still chucked that back up on the shelf didn't want that crap. So, uh, yeah, they definitely buffed the floor. Didn't realize until I watched the video now that uh, the floors look done since uh, the uh, corona thing. So, But this store looks so bare. Have a look at the uh, bed sheets. No good. No good. Very disappointing. And you know, if there's no good bed sheets, it's going to be a fucking shit store and a dog shit day. Not impressed. So we move on to the uh, clothes and, uh, oh, look at this. Top Dad Award. Mustn't be the Top Dad anymore. They donated his clothes to the op shop. So no good, that dad. Check out this jumper. Too bad it was a uh, small. I would have grabbed this for myself. It said something about, uh, oh, what, do you, what do you call a woman without a beard? Uh, what do you call a man without a beard or woman? Anyway, kind of funny to me. I would have wore it. Uh, but I wouldn't have resold it because no one probably would have brought that shit. Uh, Socceroos uh, with the tag on it, but um, that's Kmart shit there. Sydney Kings, um, I probably would have brought that. It was only five dollars, but uh, with the basketball, basketball uh, NBL stuff is uh, hard to move sometimes. Uh, the Wildcat stuff that goes good. Never tried Sydney Kings. Um, I just didn't want to take a risk on it, and this store pissed me off, so I thought, fuck it, I chucked that back on the rack. Right, I'm not going to show too much footage of that store, because that felt fucking empty. Overpriced, empty, and dog shit. Fuck them. Fuck them, I was in a good mood. Now, fuck them, let's go to the other one. I'm still, I'm still positive. I still got a good feeling. I still got a good feeling. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Fucking salvos. Fucking salvos. 
So this is the one to come to. This is the one where I got all those footy cards a few weeks ago. This is the shit. Guaranteed I'm gonna find some stuff here. Guaranteed I'm gonna find some stuff here. Now I'm pumped again. Now I'm pumped again. It's so early in the morning. So early. Let's do it. God damn, I love this store. This is where I got all the footy cards from. You can have 20 people in there now. It was 15 last time. So 20, so I always grab the big basket from this place, the big basket. This is Port Kennedy. Port Kennedy uh, Good Sammies. Best Good Sammies around, I think, personally. Uh, but today it was a little bit bare. Now, if you remember from that video when I first went thrifting uh, in here a couple of weeks ago, remember how many DVDs were in here? They were all stacked on top of each other. Now there's only one layer. People have gone nuts and brought everything. That was the only DVD that looked good in there, that one that I just picked up, but uh, nah, it wasn't worth buying, unless you had it brand new. This was stacked last time I came in here, and now there is hardly any DVDs. It still looks like there's heaps, of course, but um, not as much as when I first came in. So someone has come in and absolutely destroyed this place. Even some of the books, such an empty area of books, all those suitcases that were there last time. I uh, didn't grab this. I like to always show you guys uh, what I don't grab because I show you what I do grab on uh, uh, on the uh, show and tell. So I didn't grab that book. Dragonology I didn't grab. Would you have grabbed this? Um, it only goes for about $20 and they wanted 6 bucks for it and I wasn't going to, I couldn't be fucked for that type of price to uh, count all the pieces. Um, 25 cents each, all these uh, magazines down here, and I've done good with magazines uh, in the past, looking through the magazines. Found a whole heap of um, St Kilda, uh, AFL St Kilda Saints uh, magazines, so I'm going to lot them all up together. Um, some's, uh, some Saints fan will uh, want to buy all them, and uh, you know, 25 cents each for all these uh, little yearly annual books and all that. This one had a signature in it, I don't know who the fucking prick was that uh, signed it. Some uh, no name, but um, he never got a premiership. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, so those Saints ones, I'll show you them all in uh, show and tell. But that was cool, twenty five cents each, and uh, there was some cool magazines in there as well. Did grab a, uh, a football record as well. Found some ink, but uh, this one was sticky taped up. So unfortunately, no ink in my uh, basket as of yet. And some DVD players there and all that. Remember how stacked these CDs were last time I came in? Absolutely, someone has destroyed and freaking taken so many. Because well, I, I, I took a fucking shitload. But uh, someone else has come in and absolutely raped it all. So that's all gone. Uh, all the good ones are gone. All the rock ones are gone. Heavy metal ones. So that's alright. That's not a big deal. Good on them, whoever fucking got that. And uh, yeah, I twiddle my fingers there and I fucking move on. This is a, um, oh, this four bucks, you know what this is, I can't even fucking think what the damn thing's called now. Uh, Viewmaster, there we go, a Viewmaster, so this is a Viewmaster, but it's an Incredibles Viewmaster. I left that, I didn't want to put my eyes on it and see if it works and get conjunctivitis. A Hawthorne fan has uh, given up on his team after the three flags and uh, thrown the uh, mug away. And, um... <laughs> DVD uh, rewritables. Don't forget to subscribe and put the bell icon on. Um, and uh, you'll uh, see all the stuff that I uh, get for show and tell. Now in the shirts, I'll just show you the stuff that I didn't get. Um, I kind of wish I grabbed this now. It was a medium. Um, that was a regular show. I love the regular show. I should have probably grabbed that. It was a Jurassic World. Didn't grab that. That was one of those... Um, is it JJ's the store? Yeah, JJ's. I uh, wouldn't have sold. Wouldn't have sold, so I didn't bother with that. Um, here's another regular shirt, which I kind of uh, wish I grabbed. That one's an awesome one. I would have loved it if it was in um, extra large. I would have wore the shit out of that. Um, I didn't even actually have a look to see if it was worth any money. And um, here we go. Fucking again. The same Gold Coast Suns jersey from a few weeks back. That's the one that had the fuck. I dropped it on the floor too. Had the rip in it. So I keep seeing Gold Coast Suns stuff now. Pink uh, concert um, concert shirt. Uh, I didn't grab that because uh, uh, it'd be a hard one to type in like pink and then fucking everything pink would come up. You know, pink shirt. I love R R. I had to look twice at that. But it's Red Rooster. I love Red Rooster. Not rimming rectums. I love Red Rooster. It was good. 
It was good, but it wasn't fucking amazing. It, it didn't even earn myself, didn't even earn myself a takeaway meal. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's go find another one because I know more have opened up. It felt empty. It felt empty. It felt like everyone has just fucking absolutely just ripped it apart. So thank God I came back on the first day uh, when it reopened a few weeks ago. But let's go try another one. Another one's just reopened, so we're going to go uh, drive to that one. Let's do it. All right, we're at the uh, Good Sammy's and Vinny's. I should have come here first. I should have just bloody come here first, but I didn't. Anyway, let's fucking let's do it. I'm, I'm, my high is starting to go a little bit down, but I've still got this good feeling. Got this good feeling. All right, we go straight for the big basket again. You got to grab the big basket. Come on, look how dirty the floor is. Fucking, you've been closed for so long and you can't even vacuum the fucking floor. So this place uh, had a few uh, um, games mixed in with the DVDs, which was actually uh, pretty good uh, for a dollar each. So I was happy with that. So I will show you uh, all the ones that I did get. Um, I didn't look them up either. I just took a punt. There was a lot of hats in here. I'm not a big hat person because they are all crushed and all that. That's a Blue Jays one. Didn't pick that one up, but I did pick up a cool Mets one, uh, Major League Baseball one that I will show you at Show and Tell. Um, that Suns one was no good as well. It was all crushed. Speaking of Red Rooster before with the freaking t-shirt, there's a Red Rooster cap and this is a totally different store. So I should have grabbed that shirt now because I could have dressed up as a Red Rooster employee. <laughs> Look at this. It's got the Blockbuster 1495 sticker on it still from Blockbuster. There were some cords. Didn't bother with them. Uh... Have you ever sold these boil safety glasses? This had a lot of scratches on. Now, would you have brought it with a lot of scratches on the lens of that? That's uh, your skiing. No one's really going to be skiing at the moment, so I didn't bother with that. This bag was cool. It was $6. It's a Hello Kitty Kiss bag. Now, that's fucking sweet. Uh, love Kiss stuff, but um, the most it sells is uh, 20 bucks. so I didn't bother. Hand sanitizer there. We're uh, next door now. We're at the Vinnie's next door. And this is a bit of a rip-off place. And I just got a thrifting bingo. A thrifting bingo. Yes, an item that I've already sold before, uh, which was that uh, Wii Family Game Show. I sold that about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Anyway, uh, I picked it up again. So that's a bingo. So I think I've got three bingos now. Um, Dot and the Kangaroo. What a fucking classic that was when I was growing up. Uh, found videos there, no clamshells, no horror clamshells, so the fucking bed is off. Look at this cunt's parking. Look at this fucking prick's fucking parking. Fucking dickhead. This fuckhead doesn't know how to park. So now it's going to be a cunt for me to get out of here. Well, i got to say, I'm pretty fucking disappointed. I'm still going to do a show and tell. I've still got enough to do a show and tell, but it'll be a little mini show and tell. Kitty is not going to be happy, but there was something I got right at the very end when I was lining up and I was up at the counter and I made a decision without looking it up. I'll show you a show and tell and we'll find out if it was uh, worth money or not. I had a feeling, I had a hunch. Couldn't really look it up while I was at the counter. A bit rude to do that while the uh, two old chooks are waiting there for me. I went to four shops in uh, three and a half hours. Didn't get much, unfortunately, but it was enough to, like I said, we'll do the show and tell. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to get uh, some Maccas. Wasn't enough to get some Maccas or any takeaway. So I'm not gonna treat myself and go home and have fucking shit fucking sandwich. A fucking dirty shit sandwich. Uh, don't forget to follow all the Australian resellers on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or you can just do what the fuck you want because it is your life and I am not allowed to tell you what to do. You make your own decisions, man. But thanks for tuning in. I'm out. I'm done for the day. Uh, I'm going to go do some actual shopping, food shopping, and uh, then I'm going to go home and play some video games because that's what I deserve to do. Don't deserve Maccas, but I deserve video games. Thank you very much. Get ready for show and tell. See you. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go 